Here's our next series, Anthony, Robert, and I'm Katie, and we'll be presenting the Wall Street Journal, Journal article, Japan Fortress. Um, a little bit of the history, one of the, uh, Japan has been considered one of the most closed um, major economies in the last few years, and then in the 1990s, they um, opened it up to international investors, so a whole lot of um, the investors poured into Japan. Um, a lot of the companies that that fell into the foreign investors were Nissan Motor Company and long-term credit Bank of Japan. And the ownership of sales has soared from 4% in 1988 to 28% in 2006. Um, a couple of things that Japan is now putting up walls to um, try and get foreign investors out of their market. Um, they were the number two economy in the world and they decided to um, put their walls back up, I guess, to keep them out. Um, they've come up with a couple of different techniques to do this, um, cross share holding, um, which makes it harder for foreign investors to come in. And um, they took some of these techniques from um, American anti-takeovers from the 80s. And one of the things they use is called the poison pill in order to do this. Um, since profits are up and shares remain cheap, takeovers are more common now than ever before. Um, the companies, two-thirds of them, are listed at a price-to-earnings ratio of less than one, which means that their assets um, could be sold for more than actually buying the company. Um, and between 2002 and 2007, um, the value of private equity buyouts has almost tripled to $11.1 billion. Um, some more negative effects is per capita gross domestic product was the lowest in Group 7 of the richest nations last year. Um, in the early 90s, it was one of the highest. And um, a lot of 